I've had a pretty eventful couple weeks since I've posted a video, um, chopped off all my hair, and lightened it again. It's like, I don't know how much longer I can keep lightening it, but it's awesome. I really like being platinum. And we got a little munchkin. So this is Maya. She's four years old, but she looks like a puppy. She's a chihuahua mix. And she has been a little love, but she's been sucking up a lot of my time. So yes, this is my little booger, and I love her. Look at the happy little puppy. Oh, kisses. So I realized I haven't done like a favorites type video in a long time. So I thought I would just share some of my like day to day favorites with you guys. I really have been going pretty minimal on makeup lately because I've just been sort of going to work, coming home. Um, I've been working out a lot more so then like sweating is a problem. <laughs> so I really haven't been doing like a ton of makeup. Like this is the most makeup I've worn in like maybe a couple weeks. Um, so I guess I'll just get right into it. First off for foundation, I haven't really been wanting to go through, I don't know if it's a hassle necessarily, but just liquid foundation can feel a little bit heavier, it takes a little more time. I've been really into just like a sweep it on, one and done kind of deal. So I've been using the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination versions. This is the one in the white case that's like a little bit not like shimmery, but luminous, I guess. Um, and I'm in the shade Light, which I think is the second shade in out of like four or five. You can see that I've really worn this thing down. It used to have the, the company name on it. Um, I've used this thing like crazy. I really do like it. It doesn't last like all day. Like I tend to get a little bit shiny by the end of the day, but retouching with this stuff is really easy and it doesn't look weird or cakey or anything when you just keep adding more. So. I'm really a fan of this foundation. I haven't really liked that many powder foundations ever, so this is probably my favorite one I've used so far. I have a couple of concealer products I've been reaching for quite a bit. Um, on those day-to-day -day kind of situations when I'm not wearing that much makeup, I'll brush some of that powder foundation under my eyes and then use the Bare Minerals uh, Multitasking Concealer in Bisque. Um, just right on top to just add a little more coverage because I tend to have really sort of dark circles that are hard to cover. So this is just like an apricot toned concealer and it's powder so it's it's a little messy, not gonna lie, but um, it does definitely add a lot of coverage for my under eyes and I don't see it creasing or coming off or fading or anything like that so I definitely am a fan of this. As for liquid concealer, I'm wearing this one today and this is the NARS creamy concealer whatever it's called in light to vanilla I just happened to grab this on my way out of a Sephora I really love hate those displays they have while you're waiting in line um, so I grabbed this and I really like it it's really a brightening full coverage kind of concealer so I really enjoy it and I like using it with a sponge like a beauty blender more than a brush I feel like it gets a little bit creasy um, if you use too much and so the Beauty Blender helps take away some of that excess product. I've been switching off on blushes and lipsticks a lot lately so I'm probably not going to bring up too many of those. But I have been wearing two highlight powders like crazy. I wear highlight to work every day, don't judge. The, the Bombs Mary Luminizer is like my nice subtle sort of highlight. It's still not super subtle, it's definitely shimmery. But for me, it's a little more subtle. And you can also put it on with a fluffier brush. Like I've been using this e.l.f. Mineral Powder Blush and it definitely makes it go on a little more sheer so it's not super crazy. But I have really been liking this. But when I want like a super shimmery sort of situation, I will go for my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This is the Jaclyn Hill shade and it's just gorgeous. I just love this. Both of those highlights are just gorgeous and I have been glowing in the office lately. As for my contour, when I am just day to day, I still like to add a little shading and I did that today. I didn't do like a super intense contour, but I added a teeny bit of shading with this product. So this is my MAC Powder Blush in Taupe Shape. And so this is like a nice taupe brown kind of color. And so this is probably meant for contouring more than being a blush. But I just take a, I kind of use this brush for everything. This is my mineral powder blush brush. Ugh, ugh. This is my mineral powder brush from e.l.f. again. And I just swirl it in and just kind of like chisel out things. I'm not super concise about it when I'm just going to work or like today just to show you how I wear this product. 
I feel like because it's so blendable, it's kind of foolproof. Like, I can't imagine, like, severely messing up with this to the point where, like, I'd have to go wash everything off and try again, where a lot of bronzers I've used for contouring, like, you can make a mistake in a hurry. For my brows, I have been using a lot of different brow pencils. I like that Maybelline one that I've used, the Define a Brow pencil in, like, the blonde shade. I forget what it's called. I was using the NYX uh, brow pencils for a while. I ran out of one. So I repurchased the one I was using plus a shade darker because my brows um, are a little sparse on the top. So I want to fill in on the top, but I don't want it to be too dark and crazy. Um, so I have two different shades. I use taupe and ash brown. And so I use taupe on the first half of the brow and then I use the ash brown. Yes, taupe goes on the first half of my brow. Ash Brown goes in the outer corner to help sort of sharpen that top corner, I guess you could call it, if brows should have corners. Um, so I've just been using these together and I really love this combination. I think it's really subtle, like you can't really tell that I'm wearing two different brow shades, but the shape of the outside of my brow looks so much better than when I was just using the lightest shade. Um, so I feel like certain things, while I like everything to be easy, Certain things can have a little more effort in them and be worth it. And I think having two different brow pencils is totally worth that slightly extra effort. For my lips, I've been wearing a lot of different lipsticks lately. I have so much lipstick, it's a problem. Except not for me, it's, it's a problem for my cluttered space over here. But I love lipstick, so I can't really choose a favorite. Although, I've been wearing this Marc Jacobs Role Play, one of their nude lipsticks. I think this came in like a Sephora grab bag sample kind of thing. I've been wearing this one a lot. I've been wearing Wet n Wild. Um, I know they have Sweet Cream was the limited edition, but there's the other one, like the Bear It All or this one's Sweet Cream, isn't it? Yeah, so I've been wearing like a Wet n Wild nude type lipstick lately. Oh, here you go, baby. You can sniff that. There we go. Oh, and I've been loving Kat Von D's Lolita. Um, I don't, I don't have it with me. I have Lolita 2 with me. This one I don't like quite as much, but it's one of these mini guys, um, but Lolita 1, which is the more brownish tone. I definitely bought a full size with the VIB Rouge 15% off spring sale thing. Other than that, I've just been wearing a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> but before I put my lipstick on, I picked this up on a whim. I was in Japantown and there was like a Korean beauty store in like the shopping center mall thing there. So my sister and I went in and I got this Tony Moly Lip Tone Lip Care Stick and it's like, it's exactly like that e.l.f. lip exfoliator so it comes in like a lipstick looking thing and it has a lip balm with like little beads in it and so this helps just like exfoliate and treat my lips before I put lipstick on. So having this sit on my lips has been I think a really good step in my beauty routine. Finally, I have a mascara that I have been wearing a lot. So when I wear mascara, I have like six that I have opened and using right now. Um, but my favorite one right now is the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. This adds a lot of length, it adds a lot of volume, and it just looks super nice. Um, and I haven't noticed it flaking or rubbing off or getting all oily or whatever around my eyes. So definitely a fan of that mascara. I almost forgot, I did want to talk about the lotion that I've been wearing for the daytime. I've been wearing First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, and so this is like their daytime version of their Ultra Repair Cream, I think. It unfortunately doesn't have any SPF in it, so if I want sunscreen, I need to add it separately or wear makeup that has sunscreen. But I kind of prefer my, my daily moisturizer. I don't know, I don't like it to always have sunscreen in it because sometimes I'm not really going outside or I'm not going to be outside for very long and so something like this is much more useful for me and then I can just add the sunscreen separately. Oh, oh my dog's whining, poor baby. I like this lotion a lot because it sets into my skin super fast and it just makes my makeup feel so much better. Okay, it's time to save my poor little doggy from boredom. She just curled up on my lap and is falling asleep. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favorites lately. Let me know if you want me to do this more often. I know I really don't do it anymore. And definitely leave a comment below if you have any recent favorites that you'd like to share with me because I'm always looking for things to try and having things come recommended to me is the best way to find awesome new products. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles you'll see at the end screen or down below in the info box. Or as 
always, you can find me at BroadForBeauty.com. Thanks again for watching. Check down below for more information and blog posts that are related to these products. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Booger. Hi, Booger. Oh, thank you. <laughs>